I've been using Artograph probably since about 2002, since I came down to San Diego. Uh, over the almost 10 years, I would say probably in the neighborhood of 1,000, maybe as many as 1,200 Artographs I've implanted. I think that uh, Artograph is probably the um, biggest novel um, technology that has come about in the last 25 years for hemodialysis access. Um, I can say since I graduated medical school in 1986 that a majority of what we were doing was mostly PTFE graphs of different types, uh, trying all sorts of different uh, uh, maneuvers with the graft, using hooded graphs, etc. Uh, but PTFE was sort of the standard, uh, even to the point where it kind of supplanted fistulas for a while until the Fistula First program. Um, luckily, um, with uh, the onset of my use of uh, Artograft, it has made a huge difference in the patency and um, the um, patient satisfaction with their hemodialysis access. Um, even though we have not uh, done a study per se, it is uh, my impression and the impression of our interventional rate uh, nephrologists that uh, the time to first intervention is longer and therefore the patency is better uh, with the bovine collagen artograft than it is with the PTFE. There are three particular instances um, rather than cases where I think uh, artograft has a superior um, outcome. Uh, again, the first one is in our uh, diabetics um, where there is a significant amount of peripheral vascular disease, especially um, distal in the forearm or in the leg. And being able to band the artograft um, is much easier um, by a technique that I've developed um, where you place the clips in the middle of the artograft. Um, most uh, banding procedures that are described either band at the arterial end or the venous end and by um, placing the needles in, in the position uh, normal position, uh, you end up with either some recirculation or you have limited inflow into the uh, dialysis access. By placing the tapering or the banding in the middle of the artograft, you end up with an arterial needle on the artery side of the banding and the venous needle on the uh, venous side or outflow side of the artograft and you get maximal inflow for the arterial needle and maximal outflow for the venous needle. Um, this also um, doesn't have to be a permanent banding uh, since using medium hemoclips they can easily be uh, angioplastied off um, at the time of the first thrombosis of the graft. Um, that's one instance. Uh, the second instance would be uh, salvage of AV fistulas. Of course, we have a significant number of AV fistulas that we place, and over time they can get pseudoaneurysmal or have other problems. And being able to use a biomaterial to salvage as much of the AV fistula as we can uh, while replacing a small segment with artograft is a very useful thing. I'm not sure that we would maintain the patency of the fistula like we do with a PTFE interposition. You, in that case you really are transforming a fistula into a graft and can get the uh, venous outflow problems at the end of the graft. Uh, by placing a biomaterial like uh, artograft as an interposition graft for the fistula, uh, you maintain that um, fistula like quality of the access. Finally, in replacing uh, pieces of graft, uh, when you have an infected or pseudoaneurysmal graft, uh, doing a, a jump graft or an interposition uh, around an infected or pseudoaneurysmal uh, graft uh, is uniquely amenable to artograft. In the past, I had done a, a bypass around in a totally new tunnel. Um, what I've uh, done recently and had success with is actually used the graft tunnel if it is non-infected, if it was placed for a pseudoaneurysm or other graft abnormality. Um, place it in the non-infected tunnel where you excise the PTFE and it works just well. Uh, you just have to make sure that the skin overlying the previous graft is not too thin or it might necrose um, over the new artograft.
The artograft is so easy to handle in the operating room. Um, it makes it a, a gem to work with. It co-apts so nicely to the uh, vein or to a diabetic artery. When we use a uh, bovine carotid uh, graft, uh, artograft, um, it's much easier to sew those to the uh, diabetic artery and to the vein and um, not have to worry about the memory and the shrinkage of PTFE. I believe that the uh, long-term patency and the um, uh, time to first intervention is much longer with the artograft as compared to PTFE. Um, even in those most difficult patients, the patients who you would need to put um, on Coumadin because they keep clotting their PTFE graft, I've been able to utilize Artograft and only aspirin or Plavix in order to keep those patients' grafts open. There are a significant number of patients, uh, probably on the order of 30% or so, who will have a reaction to the PTFE, the EPTFE, uh, Gore-Tex, or um, other grafts. Um, evidently, this is some sort of immunologic reaction. They get uh, edema, they get a skin erythema, redness, um, and tenderness. Um, it's hard to tell in the beginning phases whether that's an actual infection that's beginning or whether it's just a Gore-Tex reaction. A lot of times we'll give them antibiotics and it gets better. Even if we didn't get antibiotics, probably that would have gotten better. However, I can tell you with the artograph that we don't have that same problem. The body seems to accept the uh, biomaterial artograft much easier than it would with the EPTFE. We almost never get a reaction. Uh, the swelling that would have been there for probably uh, several weeks, uh, up to several weeks with the uh, EPTFE, the swelling is pretty much gone and the graft is easily palpable and ready to be used um, in a, uh, under two weeks. Um, I have used an uh, artograft for dialysis in about five days, a rare case of four days. Um, if we have no other access available. Uh, it is so m much like the native vessels that the dialysis units actually uh, mistake it sometimes for a fistula. And the only way they can tell is that there are two incisions, of course, for an implantation of an artograft and one incision for a fistula in most cases. And we've had a tremendous experience here. Um, uh, I believe this would be a uh, useful uh, research study to be done and I think that uh, there would be a superior uh, outcome with the artographs. Um, I also think that in those patients um, who are having significant coronary artery disease and can't maintain a good inflow for your graft or have a marginal blood pressure that those patients also benefit from the use of the artograft um, with or without Plavix or aspirin in, as opposed to using PTFE and needing to use Coumadin along with it and of course all the monitoring that goes along with Coumadin use.